A really useful tool of SCAL is the PaceCal. Uh, this is basically for comparing two files um, and it's something that is used daily for me uh, to be able to, because other, other cars you might have worked on might have different features that are similar to what you've got on the car you're working on currently. So to save a lot of time you can basically copy settings over from that that have worked well as a base point for your um, calibration setting that you've got today. So what you can do with this, say you've got one calibration open at the moment which for example is my test board one. I can then go to Pace Cal, so you press the P and then go load. Now after doing so what we can actually do is just go and select a file here for example and what we can do now is we can actually see the differences between the two files. So the main file which we're editing is still the test board file, but we're paste calling to compare off this file, which is a 188, and it can be a different software version completely to what you're using. So that's a really nice feature. And any items which are pasteable, i.e. can be copied in, will be in yellow. Any which are not, will be red. Generally the reason for not is because the software version could be different and hence uh, they, they won't copy over because on say 188 there might be a new calibration that's in that firmware which is not present on the 185. Or for example you've changed the breakpoints and, and hence they won't come in so you might sometimes have to first change the breakpoints to match what you have for the other calibration in order to ca paste them in properly. And that is true for the say the base injection fuel table. So for example, if I want to copy this table in, go to paste cal and import, what we'll actually find is I have just gone to now paste cal and then import the map. I.e. this one single map has now been imported. Okay? So what I've just done is I've imported it, but you can still see that it's yellow. And that's because basically it's stating that the breakpoints, the maps are now not identical still because the breakpoints must be different. Okay? So if I just go down to breakpoints and then change my run mode primary breakpoints, I'm just going to copy in all of the settings from the other car. So I can just do that by not just by clicking on the single calibration, I can do the whole branch. So I can click on that whole branch and then go paste cal import branch and then you can also put a tag option so I put a little marker to say all of the maps that have been changed so these little markers here that's the engine speed throttle position etc now you'll see the base calibrations come a brighter yellow again and when I do a pace cal import map okay so I again you'll see it's now gone green those two those two calibrations now are um, basically the same if that makes sense okay so um, yeah it's really important to you look at that and you can actually see now that that will uh, view exactly as it would if it was in the 188 map okay um, it's a really useful tool and like I said you can either do it on a per calibration basis so you can just do it on one item just by going paste cal and then import map and you can also do the import map and tag so you can go like that um, or you can do it as a whole branch. So the whole of the run mode fueling, go to Pace Cal, import branch, because I've selected over it. Now you'll notice they change. So if I go to Pace Cal now, you can see it's map on the eye. If I go on the top of it, it's a branch, so it import the whole branch, and all of those things get copied over. It will give you a list of everything that imported successfully and anything that didn't. Um, mainly because you can see here that the breakpoints again don't match. These are secondary mode breakpoints which I didn't change before. So again you'd have to change those to copy them over. But it's really nice. You can just tag those. And what it would do then is it would show the maps that haven't imported over successfully. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that's really useful to help you get get settings from other calibrations, etc., uh, to be able to do it. The uh, the close function just allows you to close it down, and the compare basically allows you to dump uh, all of these differences into a text file, so you can list out everything that is uh, is different between the two. Okay, so now I finish paste cal close, and it goes back to as it was before. Important to remember, obviously we've changed breakpoints, these are blue items, so you'll need to program the ECU for those to have effect if you are online with the ECU. If you're offline, it doesn't matter.